but the results still need verification. So, can the stability of the current anchor points be maintained? I've calibrated the orientation device of the space rift. As long as it's not overloaded, there shouldn't be a problem. Oh, greetings, Executor. We have successfully opened the dimensional passage to the Vera region. A squad from the Executor Order has been dispatched to investigate. The Vera region was under the jurisdiction of Hykros District 7 back before the Cataclysm. A couple of years ago, Mook Squad went to re-establish contact with the area. Now, District 7 has expressed willingness to work with us. The mission this time is to ask you to act as Shirley's guardian as you accompany her to the Vero region. Shirley is keen to find any trace of her brother. You could save yourself a heap of trouble if the locals were willing to help. Ah, well, Shirley still isn't fully stable after all. We need someone we can trust to go with her. I know I really shouldn't trouble everyone with this, but I just worry about my brother so much. I heard through the grapevine that the Vera region is the home of the invasive creature called Grayspace Entities. They're a serious threat to the local ecology and human safety. We are currently in discussions with District 7 over how to cooperate in tackling this Grayspace Entities threat. Until we have the situation under control, however, be sure to exercise extreme caution. Dr. Claire has already calibrated the Space Rift parameters, so you and Shirley are good to go at will. The headquarters of District 7 is in a huge city known as Muroria. You should ask their Archon, Larson, for help. Making such a long-distance transmission is no easy task. You should prepare yourselves. of the Yellow Rock Desert, but Marori is not too far. Look, right over there! I'm Eva, the director of the Silver Coast Research Station. On behalf of District 7, a warm welcome to you both. Arkin Larson has been informed of your arrival, and you are free to travel to Mioria headquarters as you please. However, Technician Baru has detected a potential space-time fluctuation near the research station, which could possibly affect the whole area. To be on the safe side, I'd recommend remaining here until the fluctuations have resolved. I see. Any idea how long that might be? I'm afraid I can't give a clear answer to that right now. Though Budu is actively collecting and analyzing the data, I'll be sure to let you know the second I have any further information. <sighs> I hate not knowing how long I'll have to wait. Pepper, do you know how many executors were dispatched from District 9? Hmm, apart from the Mook Squad that was stationed here a couple of years ago, there was also Meryl, Zero, Huma, and Samir. Oh, and now you, of course! However, everyone's in this super important meeting in Mororia. I think they're discussing the best response to the Grayspace entities. I'm just here as part of your welcoming committee. 
gray space entities. We heard Archon Elric mention them too. Yep. They're Maroria's biggest problem at the moment. I don't know much about them though, so maybe you're better off asking Director Ava. We have some questions, Director Eva. What can I do for you? Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. No one knows for certain when those terrifying creatures first appeared. Before Hykros really started paying attention, the Grey Space entities inflicted huge losses on us. Those enemies have a special ability to traverse space and are extremely aggressive. We had to abandon several of our strongholds on the surface, thanks to Grey Space entity attacks. Nine years ago, the Miuria Council decided to relocate all inhabitants of the Vera region to the main settlements of each area to help repel the Grey Space entity's menace. Our surface relocation plans, however, had to be put on hold. Five years ago, the Department of Science and Technology initiated a research project on the Gray Space Entity Ecology, codenamed Listener. I'd suggest asking the project leader, Dr. Clive, for more details. The reason for this space-time fluctuation has not been confirmed, but Baru is analyzing all the relevant parameters. It could be an unfortunate side effect of the long-range transmission. Apart from that, a type of powerful gray space entity known as an abyssant has been found able to generate space-time fluctuations. While there have been no relevant eyewitnesses accounts near the facility, we must still prepare for the worst. No one knows for certain when those terrifying creatures first appeared. Before Hykros really started paying attention, the gray space entities inflicted huge losses on us. Those enemies have a special ability to traverse space and are extremely aggressive. We had to abandon several of our strongholds on the surface, thanks to Grey Space Entity attacks. Nine years ago, the Miuria Council decided to relocate all inhabitants of the Vera region to the main settlements of each area to help repel the Grey Space Entity's menace. Our surface relocation plans, however, had to be put on hold. Five years ago, the Department of Science and Technology initiated a research project on the Gray Space Entity Ecology, codenamed Listener. I'd suggest asking the project leader, Dr. Clive, for more details. This is a scientific facility focused on researching Omnium technology. Due to potential safety issues, it had to be located away from the densely populated Meoria headquarters. Recently, thanks to the Gray Space Entity incursions growing out of control, we have become unable to guarantee the security of the facility. Larson is actively considering relocating key equipment and personnel back to headquarters. The MOOC squad brought us a lot of invaluable insights, and we know that District 9's Omnium tech research is light years ahead of us, so I'm excited for the possibility of future collaboration. Dr. Eva, we have a situation. The spatial fluctuations are greatly intensifying. It's a temporal anomaly caused by a powerful abyss. This shouldn't be possible. Buru, report to HQ immediately and request support. I'm trying! The fluctuations are generating too much interference. We can't get a clear connection to headquarters. Keep trying! Security close blast doors, power force fields, activate security droid. Okay! What happened? The cause of this space-time fluctuation is a rare powerful abyssin. Get ready for Great Space Entity's assault. But at present, we are unable to contact HQ or request external assistance. If they launch an all-out assault, it would be catastrophic for us. We'll help fend them off. Follow me. System warning. Red alert. Red alert. All non-combatants, please go to the nearest safe zone and remain there until further notice. Look over there! The Abyssin Symbiosis! We have to hurry! Ha! <laughs> 
repelled them temporarily. Buru's detected several unstable space-time rifts nearby, so this is far from over. Has communication with Miroria been restored? We still have no means of contacting Miroria headquarters. I can only hope that they noticed the space-time fluctuations over here and proactively sent the support. We don't have enough energy to maintain the force field for much longer. Pepper, you stay here and help defend the facility. I'm going to try to bust out of here with Shirley and go get help from headquarters. You sure that's a good idea? We don't have a lot of options. It's the best of a bad bunch. The all-terrain vehicle over there will get you across the desert in a flash. Be careful! Thank you. 